Welcome to Terror Crave. I am Jason. This is Alice. And with me, as always, is Lee. How's it going, Lee? It's going great, Jason. Alice, good day to you. How's your week been, man? Everything good? Good so far, man. Lovely weather here in Virginia today. So I'm good, man. Very good. So sounds awesome, my friend. Did you have a good weekend also? I did have a good weekend. And uh, I think I saw you sometime this weekend. I think I'm going to see you as well. Yeah. Yeah, so we were able to get back out and uh, do some more filming for uh, our upcoming movie, Joe. Uh, did really good. Um, had uh, Lee with us. I uh, had Jake with us. Um, had, of course, Steve was with us. And um, Chris, my buddy Fluffy, was with us. And, uh, man, you guys did a great job, Lee. Great job, man. Well, hey, man, thank you. We were just doing what was directed by us, by you. So you did fantastic out there as well. And we were just reading the words or, or doing the words that you had written for us to say. So, hey, man, you know, um, but yeah, I think it was a good, it was a good uh, day of filming. I it really was, did. it was. It, it, for a minute there, I got nervous because we had a few sprinkles and I was like, oh, man, you know, I'm not, <laughs> not going to ruin the camera. Yeah, but, right. Uh, no, but you guys pulled through it. Everything was good. And um, I thought maybe... Um, we we'd show just a little clip real quick of um of us we did what we call scene 12 it's where you, um you and uh detective bradley uh meet joe for the first time and uh it was pretty good and i thought maybe we just showed like a, a quick clip i'm pretty proud of it, man you guys did a great job so thanks man we should check give it out a, then give him a few seconds of it here you go This your truck? Yeah, it's my truck. My name's on the registration. Tiny, I'm Investigator Sullivan. This here's Investigator Bradley. Your truck was spotted at the scene of a crime not too long ago, so we just want to ask you a couple of questions. Let you get back to work. Sound good? Well, first off, my name is Joe. One of my friends call me Tiny. It's a very popular color, very popular truck. Third off, my boss is kind of a dick. My equipment's down and I'm behind. I hear you. Look, we're moving fast as possible, all right? Can you tell me where you were last Saturday? At home. All day? Yeah, all day. You ever go fishing down by the bridge off of 14th Street? I don't fish. You ever go down there for anything else? No, I don't. You ever no. let anybody borrow your truck? She don't even let anybody ride in it. What's this about? I wasn't asking you. I'm asking your boy Tiny here. No. Nobody borrows my truck. Or are we done? Almost. Can anyone validate you were home all day Saturday? You know, maybe family, friends, perhaps a neighbor? Mm, no family, no friends. <coughs> Shocking. Well, your registration says you live with Liz Peterson and your son, Joseph. She left and took him with her. Like I said, I ain't got no family. And when was that? Last Saturday, does it fucking matter? It does hey, fucking matter. Look, look, look. I think that's all we got for now. All right, we appreciate your time. If we think of anything else, we'll come back to you. Sound good? And if you see her, tell the bitch to bring my kid home. Actually, Joe, one more thing. You chop a lot of wood? <laughs> wood? No. No, I see that you got an axe here in the back of your truck, so I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> you must chop a lot of wood for burning. <laughs> there are a hundred uses for an axe. You don't need it to chop wood. I suppose there is, Joe. What are we seeing here around? Catch you around, Tiny. The hell is that all about, Tiny? All right, man. See? Great job. I'm telling you, man. Everybody did great, man. It's always hard to watch yourself on the screen. You know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> no, nah, but that was, I think, you know, I, I really enjoyed getting out there with everybody, man. Everybody was fantastic to work with. And I'm looking forward to getting out there and shooting the rest of this thing, man. Yeah. We've got a good team put together. You guys did so, so good this past weekend. If I was paying you, I'd probably give you a raise. <laughs> <laughs> well that that's something to believe in then man all right that's great that's that's, yeah. that's, that's those are good words to say oh uh, yeah. like i said i've always said uh next go around i'm going to have a better manager online to be, <laughs> to be able to negotiate a better deal no nah, yeah man, this is this is awesome to be a part of man yeah <laughs> hey another thing this past weekend um so black summer uh season two of black summer came out yes and we've talked about that before and, um, you know, I, I started the first season when it first came out. And I, I think I got into the middle of the second episode. And I don't know why, but it didn't really, I, it didn't grab me. I don't know, man. I just couldn't catch on. Maybe it was too slow or just mm -hmm. too much going on or something like that. I don't know what it was. 
but um, I, you kind of talked me into going back and checking it out. So I binge watched all of season one to be ready for season two. And season one was really good, man. So then I had to binge watch season two. Oh, dude, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, season one came out like two years ago. So it's been a yeah. long time. I'm mean, just, you know, like everything else, the pandemic really shut, slowed everything down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I'm sure we would have had a long time ago. But I believe it almost came out two years to the day of when it dropped originally. Um, I really enjoyed season one. And, you know, like, I think if you guys listened to our previous show, we did talk about this. This is like a prequel to, uh, what was it? Not World War Z. Um, Z Nation. Z Nation. Yeah. And I did not like Z Nation at all. It was just, it just looked cheap to me. You know what I mean? Uh, it just, it just didn't, it just didn't grab me. It was a weird little combination. It ran for a few seasons, so it did well, I guess, but I, it didn't grab me. This is a whole different beast. You know, it's just taken much more, it's more of a dramatic feel to it, I guess, uh, without the cheesiness. And I love season one. You've already ahead of me in season two. I've only finished the first two episodes, but the first two episodes definitely grabbed me and I can't wait to see how it all ends, or at least the season ends. Yeah, and I, I think one thing, when we had talked about um, The Walking Dead one time, and I mentioned how they wanted George A. Romero to write or direct one of the episodes, not like a, a season or anything, and he said that he, he didn't want to, he didn't want to get involved because they don't kill off their main players. And I agreed with that because uh, I think The Walking Dead now has so many stories that um, when you watch that show, one week they're talking about this and then the, the next week it's a bunch of other of the, the stars and characters that you have to follow. And then they'll flip back and forth. And to me, it just, you know, it's like, come on, man. I, I don't want to wait two weeks to find out what happens here. Or, I don't know. I, it's the writing changed and I still am a diehard Walking, fan, walking Dead fan. I still am. And, uh, you know, all of, I'll watch all of them and fear the walking dead this season, I think was their best by far. Yeah. We definitely talked about that before too. I think it was fantastic. I, I you know, I was a big fan of Madison though in fear the walking dead. Uh, yeah. I, I, I really thought that was, you know, so that, that here's a good point. They basically killed off everybody. Um, every main character that started in season one of fear the walking dead is pretty much gone except for Alicia and Oh my gosh, what is his name? Strand. Strand. Yeah, Except for yeah. Alicia and Strand, which I think Strand is one of their more interesting characters, you know. Um, but you know, it's it's so this this because you griped and you kind of mentioned it a little bit now, not griped, but you one of your things before was I did right. the walking dead. <laughs> you thought that the walking dead didn't kill off main characters, which I disagreed with, but I, I think we could both agree that Fear the Walking Dead definitely has shed a lot of its main characters. Yeah. But getting back to that, I I, I really like enjoyed Madison as a character, mm -hmm. you know, the um, the lead character, actress who was leading the, the show. And they brought Morgan on. And I was really excited to see how Morgan and Madison would actually work together, but they didn't even meet. You know, it was like she died, she got killed off. And then the very next episode is. I think they had or, to bring Morgan in. I think they had to mm -hmm. bring him in, the character, because that show wasn't doing what they thought was going to happen with it maybe it wasn't blowing up like the walking dead and it still took a a season or two to to pick up but i like nick too the character nick which yeah you know <clears throat> he asked I like me, him. frank delane i think is his uh the actor's name who actually his father you i can't remember you watched game of thrones no, you yeah. Didn't. okay game of thrones oh, is... well, i just watched some last night but never mind did you really yes, yeah yes, i love okay. it man what yeah. parts were you watching last night? I know you got the house I, to yourself. I watched. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh, no, I watched the long night. I watched um, the season eight. I watched uh, the the battle. You know, with the oh Night yes, and, you know, fantastic. It, that was a great that one till the end. Well, yeah. I watched episode four and five or something like that. So yeah, yeah, they, okay. no, that was that, that was one of the one of the killer episodes. In what some would say would be the uneven last season. You know yeah, what I mean? but that was yeah. a fantastic yeah. episode. But anyway, he he plays he um his father is the uh the, was the brother of the uh who was working with the Red Witch. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, you know he was trying to also Stannis was it Stannis? Yeah, Therian. Yeah. Some uh, um I'm, I'm probably butchering the name, but anyway, his you know little trivia: his father was uh that guy uh Stannis. Baratheon, Stannis Baratheon, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was, he was him. But no, Frank Delaney, he actually, Nick, asked to be killed off. 
the show. Um, I think they didn't, because he was, he was a tortured character. He was one of the more interesting characters, um, you know, just like you said. And I don't think they, def- that wasn't in their plan, but when no. he asked to be off the show, then they, they you know, they catered to his wishes. What did he go on to do? I don't even know. I, I, I don't know. I think he was just, I think it was more along the lines of they film over, I think it took, it said it earlier for him, you know, Rick left the show because he was tired of coming, you know, he's from the UK. Sure. Yeah, so so he was always flying into Atlanta and having to spend a lot of time there. I think for Frank Lane, it, it hit him a little bit earlier. And I think yeah. he was just saying, I want to be home. You know what I mean? That's, that's another thing, man. Look at all, how many of the characters, the actors, as to say, from The Walking Dead are oh, from... Man, so many. Morgan. Morgan yeah. is. Rick is. Uh, for, uh, Nick Maggie. is. Uh, Maggie is. Yes, so is um Alicia. Yeah, it's funny because you know, from fear, the when so when the Talking Dead comes on afterwards, <laughs> I'm sitting there and like, I bet they're British. I bet they're British. Yeah. And, and so he's just waiting to hear the accent. So yeah, yeah, I'm hoping they pick up. I hope they have a good last season. But look, uh, I done jumped off a of black summer all the go. I know but, we went all we went deep into the Walking Dead on that one. Yeah. That's how- <laughs> but no, I uh, I gave it another chance. It was great. Um, I loved how. You know, it didn't, you didn't know if that character was going to last the show, a couple of shows, five minutes or what it was. They would yeah. say like, they'd flash up a person's name. And I like the way they did that too. Like, you yes. know, they flashed up not just people's names, but little say whatever it was. And, you know, like in season one, I thought the, the older lady that had the minivan, I thought she was going to make it long. I thought she was going, I was like, oh, well, they're introducing all the main players. And then yes. it's like, oh, well, not her. She and, got through uh, the window with the van, right? When they crashed. Yeah. It's just so funny, Jason. We were thinking, I was on the same exact page. I actually got ready to bring up her as well. That I really, and that's, I guess, that's they did their job because both you and I thought this character was introduced for the long run. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> that she so, got shot out the van. It was done. How far have you gotten into season two? Oh, two episodes. I'm, I'm, right. I'm terrible, man. I'm terrible. I need to, I'm going to get back into it. But my wife, who did not watch season one, she fell asleep while we were watching TV, so I put on season or episode one of season two. She wakes up ten minutes into it, and she's totally into it now. You yeah. know what I mean? And so now, all of a sudden, as opposed to the show that I could just kind of cruise through on my own, now I have to see if Cindy is ready to watch the show because she is totally into it and wants to see what happens in season two without knowing what happened in season one. Yeah. But no. Um. Anyway, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer for me to get through it. But I, I, I'm loving the first two episodes. I, I mm-hmm. do like how we're slowly, at least, I mean, I'm sure we continue to catch on to more, but some of the, some of these other characters that have been in season one, we're slowly seeing where they are yeah. now. You know, do we, since you've kind of binged the whole season and without any spoilers, I guess it's a minor spoiler, do we get to see how they got to these areas that they're in now? Like I see that the one girl who was looking for her daughter, she's now in the house. You know, I've seen that. Yeah. She's in the house and was sniping people. Her and her daughter are sniping people. No, they don't show how they really got there. They they just start off in um, pretty much where you see them starting off. It's, I don't know, maybe a little bit of time's gone past, but they don't show how they got up to the the oh, area where you know up in the mountains and all they don't really get way curious. back into that so which is fine i mean unless there's some big backstory but there well there is one thing that comes up in the season later on that i kind of wonder what the fallout was or whatever but anyway i don't i don't want to give too much it's still early for that show so oh yeah and and what i was but, but see what made me think that they might is because in either episode one or episode two they start off showing you a scene and they go six months late, earlier you know what i mean they go they flash back to six months earlier which i'm guessing they're introducing well actually i actually know they are they're introducing that new set of characters yeah who were the girl and the guy who were you no know, anyway you know what i'm saying without <laughs> yeah. ruining anything All you right. got yeah who, who, who hijacked that car yeah so that's about as far back as you get six months, but I don't know how yeah. long it's been, <laughs> you know, before that six months since we saw them last season. Mm-hmm. So it, I don't know what the timeline is on that either. I don't know if it, it had been like four years or five. I couldn't tell by how old the daughter was. She's definitely older. Yeah. Oh yeah. In, yeah, in the sure. second season, maybe by like five years or something. It looked right? like it. Yeah. I mean, she I was... think she was what, like 11, 12 in the first one. I think maybe. she was even I thought she was younger than that, maybe even when they were pulling her off. Maybe her so. Her truck, you know what I mean? Um, at the stadium. 
Yeah, or yeah. when they were going to the stadium, actually, in the very okay. beginning, the first episode, you know, when the, they don't let her, the husband get onto the truck. Uh, yeah. And she was about to get on the truck, but they were just like, they, they balled out and left her, and the girl was on the truck, and it was like, oh, you know, yeah. what do I do? So she's probably a 15 year old, 16 year old, something like that now. In season two. Okay. So yeah, a lot of time has like passed. That. And you can see that she's definitely gotten hard. Um, yeah. Uh, James King, Jamie King, the girl um, who's the, the blonde girl with the mother who was, I guess you could, would you call her the central character out of season one, even though it's kind of more, it's an ensemble show. Yes. For sure. Yeah. But season I mean, two also. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. No, I'm lo- I love it, man. I'm glad you are loving it as well. My question to you is, tell me about episode four. I mean, season four, the Hush episode of Buffy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Last episode, I, I, you promised wait, me, man. <laughs> that, it's on my list to watch. I'm oh, yeah. With you. <laughs> I'm supposed to watch that tonight. I'll, I'll no, let you know. I'm sure you will. No, if you, you <laughs> did, but I, I am glad. It, all jokes aside, I'm glad you jumped on the uh, Black Sun Yeah. Me too. Thank you for that. I, I'm glad you, awesome. you know, talked me into giving it another shot. Yeah, dude, it's good stuff. So a couple of other shows I just read about uh, this past weekend too, that they're coming. Actually one was last week. I read about it, but um, child's play is getting mm-hmm. a, like a series that's going to be coming on. And uh, I'm pretty excited for that. And I hope that one goes well. Um, I think it will because they've got the original players coming back yeah. to, for it. So I think it will um another one uh i think it's uh, is it hulu that picked it up um hellraiser hbo max yeah that's right that's right yeah hbo max um i guess my thoughts on the chucky show i'll start with that one since about that one up first uh i think it will be I, i'm hoping it will be really well done because like you said we've got don mancini back um and we've got jennifer tilly playing tiffany yeah. or, or voicing her and brad dorif back of course as the yeah. famous voice of chucky yeah. uh they're all involved um i i think the setup is going to be pretty interesting i guess it takes place in some small town somewhere and they're focused on like four teenagers uh and then i guess chucky somehow gets purchased at a yard sale but one of the families that would be and, uh, yeah <laughs> and then that's what all hell ensues in this small town um and day one what's his name uh, uh the guy from uh idle hands i think he was in idle hands he was also in final destination De- devin sawa um i believe he is going to be in the uh he's not I, he's going to be one of the stars of the show as well oh that's good i, I haven't seen him forever I know, right? I don't know what character he's actually playing, but he is going to be in the show. And there's also rumors that we'll see some other people who popped up, you know, from previous, uh, from in the previous movies and things like that. Um, let's let's take a little bit and talk about the movies of Shaw's play. You know, I, I saw that movie, the first one in the theater. I think I actually saw maybe all three in the theater. Or maybe I know I just saw part one and definitely part three in the theater. Maybe not part two. And then they went to Bride of, Ch- or Bride of Chucky, and that became more of a comedy, I guess. That's where Jennifer Tilly's character was introduced. Yeah. And then they went to the Seed of Chucky, and honestly, yeah. I never even saw I never even saw that one. Um, uh, but I, I don't saw, think I've watched it. Yeah, that was when they brought the baby in, who was voiced yeah. by one of the guys from the Lord of the Rings, um, one of the Hobbits. Uh, and then and then they went to the Curse of Chucky. And then the Cult of Chucky, which I thought were actually pretty good movies. They were you know, pretty they good. They took it more, they got more into the horror vein. You know, these other previous ones seemed like they were kind of even doing like spoofs. You know, yeah. it started with definitely the Bride of Chucky and then Seed of Chucky just looked like a spoof from, from the beginning to the end when she was impregnated and all this weird stuff. It's just, you know what I mean? And Jennifer Tilly was playing herself. It just looked like a big spoof and I never even watched it. But I liked the last two films. And I like what I liked about the last two films is they brought the main character in that was played by, I think her name is Fiona Dorif uh, in real life, but she's Brad uh, Dorif's real daughter. Oh, the girl, real the girl in the wheelchair. Yeah, the girl yeah. in the wheelchair. Oh, I didn't yeah, know the, that. She was the main character in both Col- Colt of Chucky, I'm sorry, uh, Curse of Chucky and Colt of Chucky. She's Brad Dorif's real daughter. Okay. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I liked that. I liked the way, um, I liked the first, those last two. They, like again took it more into the horror vein there was still some humor i don't mind a little humor but and i definitely am a huge fan of horror comedies but they just the other the other ones got a little too weird and silly for me what man but what about john ritter 
I know he was in Bride of Chucky. He was. And didn't he get killed by the nail gun? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put in the stuffed in the van. Yeah. So, what about uh, the remake? The remake, I actually enjoy. It was totally its own thing. It wasn't a, for good, those of you who haven't seen it, and I have to give, I mean, Mark Hamill. I love Mark Hamill. Yeah. You know, he's, of course, Luke Skywalker, but he also, for me as a comic book fan and as a superhero fan, he portrayed one of the best versions of the Joker ever. Agreed. On, on Batman, the animated series. You know, I did know that part. Movies. Yeah. You did know. Okay, good, yeah. good, good. Yeah. Yeah, he does great. Yeah. The Joker. So I, I thought he did a good job as voicing Chucky also. You know what I mean? It was he a, did. It's his own little thing. It's not. You know that it's not possessed by the demon it's this ai is coming to life you know what i mean almost like a terminator type thing well i think they should have i don't even think they should have called it child's play i thought i think they should have made it a different doll right and named it something else and that probably would have been a good movie especially with the way things are now is you know all of the technology that we're using i think it would have been a good movie i don't like that they used it as child's play and had it chucky uh, to me there's only one chucky right you know? and nothing right. against mark hamill but if 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 uh if it's not voiced by Brad Dorf. yeah then to me it's not chucky it's just the way it was man i don't know kind of like robert england being freddy krueger and, and the remake didn't do it for you i know no there's new line remakes of that they were doing yeah i i know and and I agree with you 100%, actually. They should have named it a different thing. But I think it also went up against, I remember, if I'm not mistaken, it came out, what, two years ago? Maybe three? Maybe three. Um, Came out when the Annabelle sequel came out, within yeah. a week of each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that that really... Annabelle Because it, it, it didn't, do, it did. Because I was going to say, Child's Play was kind of a flop. It didn't do as well as they thought it was the remake. Was it didn't do as quite as well as they thought it was going to. Um. Well, they think, changed his look and everything, man. That they, was the they, other thing. Yeah, they totally did. They totally did. And uh, so I think Annabelle, you know, like I said, it came out within a week of that. And so that took away the horror audience, you know, went all there as opposed to yeah. continuing to go to Child's Play. Again, it was a good movie, but uh, uh, they should have totally done a different thing and would have found yeah. the right audience. I think. I think, yeah, I think so. I think if they had made it a different doll and, you know, named it something else and just didn't call it Child's Play. Even they could have called it Child's Play and made it a different doll somewhere, you know, yeah. like. You a little spin I mean? off of it or something you know yeah and just yeah. said you know back in the when we did the whole thing and we had this crazy kid that thought his doll was killing they could have mentioned it but yeah. just don't make this chucky because it's not chucky yeah yeah no so but the, with the show i do think it will be it's on sci-fi channel uh share with usa network so i think it'll be on both you know okay. on the plan both so no i'm i am excited about it and i will watch it yeah but if it's on those channels we don't it won't be as well. I thought Channel pushes its limit. You know, they could yeah. push, they could show some stuff. You know what I mean? I, I just they, think it'd have a better chance if it was at least on FX or something like that. Well, what about the Purge TV show? I didn't watch it, but I heard that was really w- well done. I, I watched I think a, that was a, a couple sci-fi seasons or, or USA. Okay, uh, I watched show. a couple seasons of that, and I, I thought that was decent. It was okay because I didn't yeah. watch it. So, what did you feel like it was diluted though? With I mean, obviously, it oh was yeah, not as graphic as it but could it was be. a good good story. It was good writing. All right, good. 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 Well, hopefully they do the same and follow the footsteps of that because, you know, again, this is, will, will be a shared thing on Sci-Fi and USA. Uh, you brought up Hellraiser. Yeah. Also, HBO Max show. My fandom of Hellraiser is probably a little different than yours. I'm <laughs> not the biggest fan of those films. I am. I've seen first Hellraiser. It disturbed me to no end. It just did. So I did, I wasn't like, ooh, I can't wait to watch Hellraiser again. <laughs> I watched Hellraiser 2, which was even crazier and worse. And then, I mean, and I don't mean worse as in a bad movie. Worse as in just like the gore and the graphic and the disturbing hell imagery and just all this stuff. And I haven't saw Hellraiser 3. And I think that is where, I think it's been nine films in the series, if I'm not mistaken. Um well, Hellraiser 3 back in 1993. That's when it came out. Saw it in, uh, on, on VHS. Of all things, I rented it at a Blockbuster. Like, oh, yes. <laughs> and it was not the last Blockbuster. But yeah, uh, but I rented it from there. But um, I, I don't think I've seen any of the other ones. Uh, no, and, and, I think I might have seen the first three and that was it. Yeah, I didn't even know uh, they had nine of them. And and with this one that they're getting ready to, to make, I, 
we'll see. I, I thought they were getting ready to make a new movie and maybe they did. And I just didn't even hear about it, but I thought maybe they did make one a year or two ago, but I, I, I think actually it, they came out back in 2018. I didn't see it. No. Um, I, I, but I don't, you know, it's weird that I don't remember even really seeing any, I, I, now that you bring it up, you know, I think they did, but it didn't, I haven't seen anything even about it or preview no. or trailer no. or nothing. Well, I know like yeah. the third one to me, the first one and the second one were to me, I liked them. The third one was, uh, but then after that, I think that, that the third one wasn't good enough for me to keep going with that series that I didn't think it was good enough to, I don't know. They started popping them. I honestly didn't know there were nine of those out. Yeah, there are. And, they, they last, sorry. Go ahead. No. And now I see that, um, I don't know, maybe I'm read it wrong, but they were thinking about a female role as pinhead. Yes, I know that they are talking about having a female central character. Now, whether that means she is going to be Pinhead and that's the central character, or if they're going to, I, I mean, really, they should bring Doug Bradley back. Who yeah. Played, uh, Pinhead. I mean, you yeah. Know, I mean, maybe he's getting a little older, but he's under all this makeup well, anyway. You know what yeah. I mean? So, I mean, we talked um, about that with Freddie one time. Yeah. It doesn't matter what he looks like now. Exactly. Probably less makeup for Robert Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> No, I, I I think if they, and you know, I'm, man, this is a a hard subject to, to talk about, but if they make pinhead a female, then I think they're going to lose probably 80% of the people that were even considering checking it out because you can't do that. You just can't do that. Maybe she'll just be the main character. You know, I, I think changing the sex of a iconic villain. I mean, it's almost like we just talked about with child's play. Yeah. An iconic villain, you make them totally different than what they are. You know yeah. what I mean? So, and that's and that's where they lost a lot of those fans because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't Chucky wasn't a serial killer. That's right. You know, it was just this robot come to life, basically, yeah. or Android or whatever. So I think it's in the same vein. So I, I I'm with you. I'm thinking they might make it just a central because I don't know if it's been confirmed. I know the female is a central character for sure, which goes back to the original movies, really. Ashley Lawrence, if I'm not mistaken, was the girl who played the daughter in the first movie. Yeah. And then she went on and was in part two. I don't think we saw her in part three, but I know for a fact she did come back for one of those Hellraiser films later on in the series and yeah play, and playing the same character because that one almost got me to want to watch it to see what was going on with her you know what i mean i remember when it came out but i never did get around to it i think the gore and the stuff just kind of tripped me out and kept me I, I like the gore the bed yeah. shot oh that my mattress God, dude that, that was, was awesome. that was crazy that whole thing was just i remember seeing it but but, but, but uh, we must have mentioned clive barker obviously you know um he's the one the creator who wrote it and he directed the first movie um he also is back behind this HBO Max show. So he he's, is? yeah, he's involved originally, you know, the original creator, which is a good thing, I think. Yeah. You know, um, you know and he went on, he, I mean, I guess he did some other things. What was it? Uh, the Hellraiser films, but he wasn't part of all of them. I think maybe just part one. I don't even know if he had anything to do with part two. Uh, and then he did Nightbreed, which I thought yeah. was a pretty good little movie. Uh, yeah, I actually watched bad. that one probably two or three years, probably three years ago, I watched that again. Uh, on Netflix, it, it was pretty crazy. Um, what was the other one he did? Lord of Illusions, is that right? With Scott Bakula? Yeah, I think that was the name of a Lord of Illusions. Uh huh. Yeah. I, uh huh. Uh, and that was another one that he did. And I mean, he's. I think he's a great. He, he's a. I mean, a lot of books. I guess my point is, you don't hear a lot about Clive Barker stuff much. Later. No. When you when we grew up, you did. I mean, his yeah. name was up there. What you know, with like with Stephen King, Stephen King, and stuff like that. So, and Wes Craven and Clive Barker, they were all big horror names, but not yeah, but, as popular as, you know, well, Stephen King putting out a movie every year. And I guess he never really had that big, huge hit. I mean, you know, these movies are cult classics. I don't think Hellraiser was ever yeah. a blockbuster. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, the first two were the only ones that were theatrically, got wide releases theatrically. And then the rest of them were all, and again, Clive wasn't even really part of that. Um, and then Lord of Illusions definitely wasn't a huge hit. And neither was Nightbreed. They've all grown in respect now. You know what I mean? Uh, well, was who was Serpent in the Rainbow? That was Wes Craven. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was Wes Craven. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Clive Barker has his body of work out there. That yeah. I, I, I'm just not very familiar with it because I guess it never really hit not the mainstream or whatever. I don't know. No. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I don't. Will I watch the HBO back show? I'll check it out. You know, um, depending on Maybe she'll be. Um, 
Pinhead's disgruntled teenage daughter or something like that. And, <laughs> you know, she's going to take over, but she doesn't want to because for whatever reason. Because <laughs> she just wants to be a regular American teenage girl. Yeah, that's You know right. what I mean? She doesn't want nothing to do with the family business. Yeah, she's a social media star. <laughs> she's got like 26 million followers. And you know, yeah. she's that would be funny. It would right. be funny. It'd be more palatable for me to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like that it's going to be on HBO Max. So yeah, maybe it'll they, be worth watching. You, know, you can't do a, a Hellraiser show or Stop My Channel or USA. No. no. I mean, there's they're known for its just out there gore and that. Yeah. yeah. And, and one that you mentioned um, in, in may have been um, the previous episode with uh, Fear Street, which is uh, R.L. Stein. Yes. And, yes, you know, yes. I, we grew up on R.L. Stein. Well, we were a little bit older, but R.L. Stein, man, I, I loved Goosebumps. It was awesome. Yeah. And, and, you know, they were just enough scary to watch as an older. I don't think they came out until the 90s or something, but I, I used to watch this all the time. Yeah, they came out in the 90s. Um, and some of them are pretty creepy still. Like, I remember my children were watching it maybe not too long ago i think they're on netflix now the old goosebumps and all that yeah and there was a couple episodes man that were tripping not really quinn but serena out you know what i mean there yeah. was <laughs> some stuff for sure that was going on that but uh no he rl sign but fear street is coming out and that is going to be the um uh more of adult an adult good I'm and glad. these are rated r for I'm rl glad. sign you know what i mean these are this is like hard r on netflix so well good he needs a little fun. redemption too because the uh i love jack black but the goosebumps movies that they made with jack black they were straight out comedy to me they were just you know oh, they, they totally were comedies yeah but yeah. they the when the the series goosebumps they weren't comedy oh I mean, no, those no, no. were pretty yeah. pretty so as, as pretty scary creepy. as you could make it for you know whatever 14 and under yeah and they were saturday morning shows actually yeah yeah, you know and there was another one, um, Erie, Indiana. You remember that? I do remember Erie, and Erie, it, Indiana. It was kind of the same thing, but it all of them took place in Erie, Indiana. But that's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, I, <laughs> I loved that show too. I thought that was great, man. Yeah, that only lasted the season. I remember when it came out though, and it was got a lot of. I mean, it was got great reviews and everything. Om Omri Katz, I believe, was the main character, the the kid who yeah. played in the show. Um, no, I, it was like almost like an, wasn't it almost like an x file show or something weird was yeah, going on that they were always investigating or something kids, like that. Kids, it was something weird about, something eerie about Erie, Indiana. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, now, I see what they did there now. Do you like yeah. it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, I also forgot to mention when we were talking about the Chucky that the people they have behind this actually are going to be pretty, you know, they, we, we know them from horror, you know, Michael Doherty from Trick or Treat. And then, you know, he's one of the writers. Uh, what else? He, he did uh, Dory work on the X, X Men or uh, Trick or Treat. I love that anthology movie. Yeah. I thought that was really good. It's one of the better Halloween. I, that's one I would love anthologies. to see a part two come out. Yeah. Well, there's been rumors forever they're going to talk yeah. about it, that they've been talking about it. But David Gordon Green is directing the pilot, and he is, is the one who. Sam. There you go. Oh, there you yeah, go. That's it. Yep. I love it. I, I actually did. I love, love Trick or Treat. I thought it was really yeah. good. Um, but uh, David Gordon Green is the director of the original or the 2018 remake of Halloween, and so he's directing the pilot of the Chucky show. I meant to mention oh. that earlier too. So oh, that'd it's kind of cool. It's kind of good, cool that you know these guys who again Doherty's got his name. He's he's Doherty's done other stuff outside of the horror. Um, I know he did uh, um, X Men. He worked on X Men and Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and stuff like that. But he's also dabbled in a lot of horror stuff. And, um, and then the guy. So the, I think it's kind of cool. They're in pretty good hands. Yeah. No, I sure. think so. I did see uh, Jeepers Creepers is, has a part four that's coming out. And that'll probably be a straight to DVD or straight to streaming or something like that. You know, I just, who, what did you say? Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. They're doing another one? Yeah. And that, they did, um, that they did part three. Yeah, part three. You know, it's supposed to be every 27 years or something like that, right? 20 Is it 27 for that one? No. All right, I get that one in uh, Pennywise mixed up. Maybe it's every 24 years. Some, I don't know, but every so often, because they timed it right for the, the between the second and the third one. The first two movies kind of happened at the same time. Yeah. 
And uh, then the second one was supposed to happen, which they timed it right because the, the time between them was perfect. And uh, with this one, I don't know how they're going to do the timing with it. And the uh, the writer director, uh, there's a lot of controversy over that guy, man. Victor Salva, I think maybe I'm wrong, but I think that might be his name. And yeah, he's the guy who, I mean, there's been a lot of child, yeah, you know, uh, abuse or you know something, terrible, you know, with things that have happened to like some of, yeah. So he's, I, I don't know if he's still behind it. Or Victor Saliva, not Saliva, but Victor Salva, I think is his name. Yeah, I, I don't know. And I remember when the third one was getting ready to come out because I was pretty excited about that. Uh, I, I like uh, the Creeper. I like Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. And yeah, I thought uh, the first I, two were great. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. And I didn't know anything about the guy who wrote and directed it, really. Um, but then all this stuff came out about him. And I was like, well, it's odd that, you know, he would still, he would be doing the movies. But I mean, Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywood, Hollywood's Hollywood. But yeah, you know. I know. You know, actually, Jason, I just realized I made a mistake when I said that those people were working on the Chucky show. They're working on the HBO Max show with Clyde Barker. The, the Hellraiser. The Hellraiser movies. They're working okay. on. I, don't know, I don't know why I said Chucky. My apologies. But anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think, you know, in Child's Play, I hope it does well. It, and they definitely need redemption from that daggone remake, man. And I, I wish um, Nightmare on Elm Street would do the same thing. I wish they would let uh, Robert England lace them up one more time, man. I don't know if he's I don't know if he's actually said that he wants to. I think he's actually maybe one of the people who aren't pushing for him to do it. You know, I, I don't mm. know. I think he said I'm, I'm kind of hung up the the claw or the razor uh, knives um, for a bit. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I do know that one of other Wes Craven's works are, is getting rebooted or remade, not remade, but rebooted. Scream. Scream? Um, yeah. With the original cast, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox. Uh, David Arquette, they're all back, man. Uh, so it's, it's old it's Dewey. Gonna be, Dewey's going to yeah. still be alive. Yeah, Dewey's going gonna to be alive. I know. So yeah, no, the original cast is back. I don't know if they're bringing any people back from Part Four or not. I, I, I liked Part Four. Um, I actually like Part Four better than Part Three. Uh, you know, uh, which was the, the cap of the series, Part Three. I loved Part One and Part Two. Part yeah. Three was okay, and then yeah. I thought Part Four was pretty good again. Yeah. But not men, so that should be pretty good. I'm excited about that. Well, that'll be pretty. Yeah, yeah, I'll be interested to see what they, how they write it, how they're going to do it. Yeah, I know. Um, this will be the first one without, obviously, Wes Craven. Yeah, you know? yeah, I did. Hmm. So, who kind of made a lot of their careers off that first movie? Oh my gosh, yes, he totally you know? did. And uh, I mean, oh. even David Arquette, he went on to make uh, Eight Legged Freaks. I mean, come on. <laughs> Which what starred? Who? Scarlett Johansson. Oh, did it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I ever actually watched that. But <laughs> just from the, the trailer when something when he yelled out, you eight legged freaks. I was like, come on, David Arquette. I know. I said the name. And I actually did watch um, Eight Legged Freaks, man. It, it, you know, it was fun. It was a fun movie. I mean, it was like one of those old, uh, you know, um, a throwback to the old, uh, you know, like the blob like, and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, or them. Yeah. Ants. The big yeah. ants, you yeah. know, something like that. So it was a cool throwback to those old sci-fi fifties where some type of creature was. Uh, well, that's all right. That's all. Yeah, right. yeah. It wasn't, wasn't, wasn't too shabby. wasn't too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> so I had uh, another question I was going to ask you, Lee, um, off of movies, real quick, um, because there's um, uh, a big um, thing coming up for it, a, a big conference for it. Um, it's all about Bigfoot. So, uh, and you, you know, with, uh, I've been in a lot of Paracon where, uh, paranormal conferences where, uh, my group wayward soul searchers would sit up a tent and just like hang out and people would come up and you can sell t-shirts, merchandise, stuff like that, but they can also check out the equipment that you use, ask you questions, things like that. They're pretty cool to go to. This one's all about Bigfoot and, um, it's over in the Valley of, uh, Virginia. It's, it's, I think the third annual one, which. I don't understand how it's the third annual because it's only, I know they didn't do one last year. So anyway, um, but they're doing the, doing it again this year. And I, I thought about maybe going to check it out, but um, I, well, anyway, what my question was is, do you believe in Bigfoot? Yes, I believe there's something out there. I definitely do. I, I, I am one who does think that. 
Um, I, I'm more apt to believe in Bigfoot than I am, let's say, the Loch Ness Monster. And the only reason that I say that is because, I mean, I know it's a big, what, lake, I guess. It's a lock. Like, lock, lock. I mean, yeah, it's a <laughs> lock, but uh, a lock. <laughs> yeah, it's but, a lake. But I just feel like they have the technology to be able to find some creature down there with sonar and all of that stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But with the Bigfoots are tending to be just out in the open wild. You know, I mean, this is yeah. a little bit more of a difficult thing to be able to locate them, especially if that's where they've been. I mean, they, they, they're they bred to know how to hide and to kind of, you know, and to be, I mean, some of the movies have shown how you can walk right past them. I mean, it's a sure. movie again, you know, but I'm saying I, I believe they do have a type of that cloaking ability, but something to be able to shield themselves and blend in with the, their natural habitat, which is the forest. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that's yeah. it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to find those those Bigfoot. Um that's my opinion. I do believe in it. Yeah, I do. Good. I I mean I'm a believer in Bigfoot. I what it, what my belief is though is when they uh when the continents were still connected, you had the what the bridge or whatever between Asia and America. And I really think that um well we know that Gigantopithecus was in america at one point you know a giant ape i really think that's what a bigfoot is i think it evolved from a gigantopithecus and i think that they mainly live up in the northwest yeah you know i mean there's so much area that we've never even touched before i know and it's just places for them to hide and you know for the people that say we've never found bones i mean dude i mean if if anybody has ever been a hunter and you've been out in the woods how many carcasses have you actually come across right you know the the wildlife just eats the squirrels eat the bones i mean they're not going to last forever right. and uh but the prints they found and you know i guess it discredits it a little bit because all of the footage of them is always so shaky yeah <laughs> you know what yeah. i mean somebody needs to get some good clear film on them just to, to prove it or some dna or something but i do believe they're out there can but, you imagine uh, that day man that when that actually is proven or if it is proven, I mean, that'd be wild, you know what I mean? To find that new the species that we've all been hearing about the legend. Well, oh, no. I, there were sightings in southwestern Virginia. And um, I remember Steve in in the group, he said, let's go down, let's get into cryptids more. And I was like, cool, I'm I'm all for paranormal stuff or cryptids, whatever. We can jump off the ghost for a little bit. So he's like, Yeah, we've just we'll go down to camp out. I was like, Well, wait, what are we gonna do if we find it? You know what I mean? For for whatever reason, it doesn't want to be found. So, you know, I just like I, I'm not the time. I'm not running. So I don't right, know. Right, right. Yeah. I don't know. What about like um, Mothman? Do you believe in that one? I mean, I, I'm, I'm not. Is there something out there? I don't know if I believe in Mothman as much. Right. I mean, you know what I mean. I don't know if I do. I definitely believe in Bigfoot um mothman i don't know i don't there's know there's a there's a giant... i also don't know much about that one as i do bigfoot you know what I yeah mean? I, yes i've seen the mothman chapstick and all <laughs> the richard gear film from 19 yeah. whatever it was i mean i've seen that um but even that i remember that was just much slower than i thought that movie was going to be other that was like a slow drama yeah it was yeah, it was terrible yeah. actually but there was there's yeah. a, a giant owl that has big eyes big red eyes when the lights hit them and i think that's what people see that they think is the mothman and yeah. um just like the the chupacabra um a lot of people the even the ones they found now um you know like that we've proved it we've we've called them uh, dude they're probably the hairless dogs out of mexico yeah. uh, there's you know what i mean so i think a lot of that could be proven because the the chupacabra went from being this like stand up looking because it means goat sucker is what chupacabra means but it went from some stand-up creature that had like these crazy looking teeth in the front to a dog and well the dog is just it's a hairless dog out of mexico i don't know why they keep saying that's chupacabra right it just doesn't make sense to me yeah. i mean I, there's something about that legend of the chupacabra that gets me because they they do find a, a lot of goats and chickens where they've just been you know drained of blood right and and i don't understand that but i mean it could be i don't know if there are bats in that area or what but i don't think the dog is going to go over and suck the blood out without eating them but right maybe that thing that they showed where it's walking around did maybe the actual real chupacabra <laughs> yeah. but anyway no that was just touching on a little crypto a little yeah man 
to see what see what you thought. Do you do you believe Chupacabra stuff or? I mean, yeah, probably a little bit more. Uh, again, I, 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 I know much about Bigfoot because I've read stuff up on Bigfoot and things like that. So I don't, I, I can't say I've not really ever delved into Chupacabra lore or Mothman lore. Besides, yeah. just peripherally, and what I mean by that is whenever they've popped up in little series or movies that I'm watching. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I'm gonna say. Uh, toss up on that one. Uh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe more so than the Mothman. How about yeah. that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe a little more in that one than the Mothman. Yeah, but I, I do think there's there's creatures out there that we haven't seen yet, or uh, oh, you know, yeah. we're we're develop we're discovering new species all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, not a Bigfoot, but a caterpillar right. or something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should start Give spending time. more time on the crypto saying that if this crazy caterpillar would come out of nowhere and yeah. attack <laughs> I know. So, like oh. the worms over uh where were those giant worms that had electricity in them and also oh yeah uh, yeah <laughs> graboids that's where they are oh yeah old tremors yeah yeah so no i good show tonight man yeah man as always i've enjoyed every bit of it we talked about some good stuff guys please let us know thank you very much you know we, we see that you guys are viewing us we definitely appreciate that but also comment let us know what you think yeah. about the show tell us what you like tell us what you don't like um tell us what you some topics you want us to talk about we're more than happy to you know we want to interact with you guys and, and give you guys what you want to see yeah yeah, and we went from uh, sitting around drinking coffee as old men talking about this stuff, and now we're on um, the Facebook and the YouTube, and now we have the Twitter. We're on the Twitter. That's right, guys. So, yep. Which my wife told me to stop putting the in front of all the social media stuff. So <laughs> she said it's it's not the Walmart. <laughs> so just Twitter, I guess. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, but we are. Um, we'll, we'll throw up your uh, Check us out on Twitter, as he said. Check us out on Facebook, um, you, you know, YouTube. But yeah, just check us out. We're just happy that you're checking us out. So wherever you feel comfortable with it, keep on yeah. doing it. Except probably Twitch, because I did yeah. sign up for that. And I don't, I don't know if we're going to do the Twitch. <laughs> do the Twitch. No twitching. No twitching. No twitching. I think we're uh, good. All right. Sounds good. Because we, yeah. we still got the Twitter. We got one of the yeah. T's. It's yeah, that's good. right. We did one of them. We did one of them. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much, Lee. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Indeed, guys. Have a great week.